Creating Two-Sided PCBs in TINA Part 1 Preparing Schematics for PCB Design In this video, we will present how to check and set the mapping between TINA's schematic symbols and the footprints used in TINA's Integrated PCB Designer. Note, see also our previous video, Using the Footprint Editor in TINA Part 2, Setting and Checking Footprint Names. Here is the circuit we will use. Note, we have already presented how to set the footprints of U2 in our previous video. Start TINA. The most important thing in PCB design is that every part in your schematic must have a physical representation with exact physical size. This is accomplished through so-called footprints drawings showing the outline and the pins of the parts. In TINA, we have already assigned default footprint names to all parts which represent real components. To check the footprints, you can double-click on each part and check the footprint name of the component property dialog. Double-click the R1. Click the three dots button in the footprint name line and see the PCB information dialog where you can select from the available footprint names. You can also see the 3D view of the different parts via the 3D package view field of the dialog. Of course, there is no guarantee that the default physical representatives of the parts are the same as those needed by your design. Now, we will use SMT footprint. Select the R1608 underscore 0603 footprint. Then click OK. Click OK again. Alternatively, you can use Tina's footprint name editor, which you can invoke from the tools menu. Select tools, footprint name editor. In this dialog, you can see all of Tina's components and the corresponding footprint names. To locate a part, click the label, then the Locate button. AIN Plus and some parts, e.g. controlled sources, are used for theoretical investigations and do not represent real physical parts, so you cannot place them on a PCB. Clicking on the Footprint Name fields, you can select from the available footprint names. From the Footprint Name list, select C1608 underscore 0603 for C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. In the dialog, components that do not already have a footprint name association will be denoted by red characters and also by three question marks in the footprint name field. In the U4 footprint name field, click the three question marks, then the three dots button. As we already have a footprint for U4 in TINA package database, select the TINA library, check in the all box, and select the LCD16X1 footprint from the list. Then click OK. Finally, select the JP100 footprint for VCC, VIN, VDD, OVD, REF. Click OK to close the footprint name editor. Now the PCB footprints are associated with the parts. If you open the TINA PCB designer, the PCB footprints of the parts will appear. Open the TINA PCB Designer. Set the parameters as shown next. Check the Auto Placement option. Let's adjust the board dimensions. Enter 4.5 for the board width and 2.3 for the board height. Click OK. The PCB footprints of the parts appear. The parts are automatically placed on the board and connected with rubber lines. Our task is now to move the parts into their final positions 
and instead of the rubber lines, connect them with non-intersecting tracks on the two sides of the board. We will show you how to do this in our next video. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud based multi language installation free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.